Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today is a very special day. I've got that box that I have been waiting for. My base box from BoxyCharm come in and you know I've been wanting to do a comparison video and it finally come in. I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I have planned. Oh, it's so exciting. So, I'm today on in this video, I am going to compare the base box with the premium box. Now, I personally don't have the premium package or anything, but my sister so generously let me borrow her box so that I could do this video for my channel. So thank you so much, sis. I really appreciate it. You will get your box back very, very soon. So um, we're gonna go ahead and do my box first because it's a smaller box and then we'll compare it to the other box. And then we'll do a try on portion of my box because obviously I can't try on her makeup because you'd probably freak out. So. Um, box just looks like this. I did break the seal and kind of look at what I got going on. That way I know what I can do to my face and what I cut in. But I got a little bit of everything. So, I didn't do much. Or, or anything, actually. I didn't do nothing. So, it looks like this when you first opened it up. And I'm going to do everything for you guys today. Like, everything. Super excited. So, this is the little pamphlet that it comes with. Um, the theme is kind of like a camping theme, I think kind of cool okay so the first thing in this box is the qms meta cosmetics active glow tinted day cream so i'm excited about this first of all i'm excited about this because it's 105 dollars yeah you heard me right 105 dollars i mean you pay 25 dollars you know for this box and get a freaking magical cream sitting here for 105 dollars <laughs> i know i know but I'm excited for this because we're going to use this on our skin first and then we're going to go in with our makeup and stuff. So there's that. And like I said, it says it's a lightweight sheer color adaptive cream with vitamins. Helps to blur imperfections to reveal, vi blah, 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 reveal visibility glowing even skin. This combination of skin perfecting light tint and hydrating, that's the key, hydrating. Hydrating formula makes this an ideal day cream. I wonder about the tinted though, you know? Is it gonna turn my skin a different color? We're gonna find out. Had better not for $105. Anyways, going on to the next thing in the box, I've got a Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette. Now, I don't know if you guys have tried Violet Voss, but I love it. It's a bomb. Every palette I've had has been amazing. So, let's dive on into that. Looks like this. How freaking adorable is that? Okay. So, she looks like this. Very, very beautiful. Oh, um, no, no. Sorry, I didn't tell you. Um, This retails for $36. And she looks like this. I'm like loving this right here. These two mats. Oh, baby. Like, we're going to dig into that, guys. And it's going to be thebomb.com. So, we've got those. Oh, and I can do some swatches for you. No, we're not because I'm not going to do swatches because we're going to try it out. Okay. Next thing in the box is the Pure Heels Pore Clear Black Charcoal Cleansing Foam. Now, I'm super excited about this. I've always wanted to try one of them foaming face washes, and I've never had one. So, yeah, I'm excited. Check it out, guys. It says, oh, this retails for $24, by the way. And it says that it's a premium charcoal and oriental botanical ingredients help cleanse the skin waste and pine needle extracts and minimal mineral ingredients help skin to be moisturized and glossy. Sorry, I botched that. But yeah, apparently it's gonna give you glossy skin. I'm excited for that. We're gonna try this after our makeup looks done. We're gonna go in the bathroom, we're gonna wash it all off, see how this baby does. So excited for that. Excited for everything, obviously. Next thing in the box is a Morphe I Got This brush set. I love Morphe brushes. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I love the Morphe, Hill, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush set collab. My go-to brushes. So they look like this. These retail for $12. Let's open her up. So, 
like a matte black kind of packaging. Kind of cheap looking, really. Oh, they got little... This says Morphe on the end. Doesn't say a name, I swear. One of the, Oh, they're soft. One of these days, I'm going to have my own brush set. And they're going to be labeled. I feel like everything should be labeled. Just saying. But yeah, I'm excited to try these. We are going to give these a go. And our last product in the box is a Real Hurt Definer Brow Pencil. Which is exactly why I don't have my brows done. Um, and this says it's a long-lasting micro-tip pencil that allows you to create individual-like hairs for a subtle and bold brow look. Its creamy wax-based formulation glides beautifully and naturally along the skin. This waterproof pencil is stress-free to help you through any challenge you may face in life. Whoa! That's a lot of claims for a brow pencil. Dag nab. All right, let's just get this bad boy out the box. <gasps> Ouch. Guys, if I break a nail, because I mean they can't get no worse, I swear. Just break the side of it. Use your brain, Ash. Use your brain. Okay. God, man. <laughs> that was just hard. It says, I am inspiring. How freaking cute is that? And it's like super tiny, like so small. And it's got like a super small tip. I hope this color matches me. Mm, I'm thinking of mine. Thinking of mine. Holding out on hope here. All right, so this is my box. So you add everything up, you get five products for a total of $197. So this is a really good box. Like I don't think I've gotten a box this good in a long time. So this is pretty good. So we're gonna set this to the side. We're gonna try all these products on in a minute. But now, right now we're gonna dive into my sister's box and we're gonna compare the two. Just to kind of see what's what. So she's got the same little pamphlet. Okay, so the first thing in her box is a Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. All right, and this looks just like this, very bougie. Wow, sis, check you out. I wouldn't know how to open the darn thing. Um, this says CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. Wait a minute. Oh my God, check that out. I wonder why she buys these boxes, huh? Okay, this um, CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream deeply hydrates, visibly brightens skin, and provides advanced antioxidant support formulated with THD asorbent yeah maybe okay a powerful stable and targeted vitamin C derivative der derivative God, I'm butchering this guy sorry that prevents and repairs the visible signs of premature aging wow that's that's fancy guys yeah, and this, she's a really bougie brand. Like, really bougie stuff. It's glass. <laughs> That's nifty. My sister's probably like, don't you be touching my products. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Anyways. We're just going to lift this little tab. I'm just going to smell it. And maybe try it. Love you, sis. Okay. Oh, it's like orange cream sickly. <sighs> Good night. We're just gonna put just a little bit of this on the back of my hand. It's very, very silky. It's not like um it's not like greasy or anything. But it is a little thick. But I mean it's nice. I'm gonna smell like an orange cream sickle all day long. Super nice. Oh, and it comes with a little spoon. How cute is that? Bougie, guys. That whole thing is $65. No wonder why. That packaging is everything. Wow. Okay, so the next thing she's got in the box is the Ciate London, which I love Ciate London. They made the best setting powder. I swear it's the best. If you watch my channel, you already know. Anyways, it's the New England Editor Palette. So let's dig in here. Oh. My bubble wrap action. So it looks a little bit like this. 
This um, retails for $32. And it's inspired by a New England, or by, inspired by New England in the fall. This palette features super soft and blendable shadows in a mix of richer pigmented autumnal, I would just say autumn like hues. Mix and match the metallic gl metallic glitters and mattes for effortlessly hazel eyes. Wow, ain't that pretty? I love that packaging. Very bougie. Ooh, those are nice. You get a lot of colors in there. Wow. Shall we swatch a few? I think we shall. Since I can't keep it, I might swatch a few, right? <laughs> oh. Love you, sis. Okay, so we're going to do that one. We'll do this pretty green. Oh, we'll do this deep blue. Like, check that out. Those are just a few. I'm only going to swatch a few, guys, because it's not mine, so be respectful. But I would like to really dive into that. That's gorgeous, especially that deep, um, like, navy blue. Oh, I died. But she's more into those nudes, you know? She's a nude gal. But she's really going to like this. I just didn't know it. So, anyways. Put that back. So, now, next thing in the box is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. I know she was really excited about this. Let's, oh, here it is. Right here. I love their foundation. It's like the bee's knees. Which this is just a translucent set of powder. I really don't think I have to open this. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And put her stuff over here so I don't lose it. Um, and that retails for $33. It says this setting powder provides a veil of perfecting luminosity for a finish so natural. They'll think you were born this way. Wow. All right. So, next we're going into the MAC Cosmetics Satin Lipstick. I've never had a MAC Cosmetics Lipstick. Who should like this? 825 Verve is the name of the shade. Open it up and swatch it. Can't resist on a lipstick, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's nice. Like a little bullet. I've seen these, like, ratings on these, and they, like, rave about these, so I think she'll like it. We're just going to, just a little bit. It's like a, like a brownish, rubyish, you know what I'm saying? I think she's really going to like it. And if she, maybe she won't like it. She'll give it to me. Yeah, so that retails for $19. $20 for lipstick's a pretty good price, I think. It makes pretty bougie, you know? So, next thing in the box is the Milk Makeup Long Wearing Gel Eyeliner. That's a big eyeliner. Yeah. That looks like this. I mean, look how freaking big that is. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this is the long wearing gel liner that is highly pigmented, waterproof, and that stays in the line all day long. Hydrating avocado oil and hyaluronic acid combined to smooth to smooth the look of skin so the liner glides on without pulling or catching. The liner comes with a shaper and a smudger. To allow for precise application or smoky effect depending on your mood. Hmm. That is $22. All right, guys. And last but not least, she has the daily. Oh, yeah. $22. Okay. The Daily Concepts Daily Detox Massaging Brush. I'm not going to open this because it's like a the bath thing, you know, so I don't want to. But it looks like that. Right? And that says, complete with responsibility, responsibly sourced natural bristles and massaging rubber nodules. This brush combines a vigorous texture to remove dead skin cells with the stimulation of the nodules to increase blood flow and circulation. Ultimately, this is our go-to for breaking up cellulite deposits, removing old dry skin and leaving us feeling glowy and baby soft. $18. Alright guys, so that is everything in her box. And she got six products. Which are really nice products. You know, bigger brands I feel like. But hers actually retails for $189. So mine was a really good box. It was, you know, 
oh, even more than hers. And she paid, when you get the premium box, you pay like, I think $10 more, I do believe. But she said that this wasn't their best box. So I wouldn't judge it on that. I mean, she did tell me that. So maybe one of these days I'll get my own premium box and then we'll just do them all together all the time. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this part. Thanks, B, for letting me borrow it. I'm sending it your way. Okay, guys, so now... Oh, I better get my card back. All right, guys, so now... Oh, I almost forgot our eyeliner. Woo, that was, would have been bad. Right, oh, shoot. That's harder than it had to be. Okay, so we're gonna dive on into my makeup. So we're gonna do on the try on portion, my favorite part. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this QMS Active Glow. Um, let's just try this out. I'm super excited. It's like a little pump, nice, and a squeeze bottle. Okay, foundation colored. Okay, and I'm just gonna very nervously. <laughs> it does smell like something very familiar. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Mmm, it's like nice. I'm gonna bend this all over the skin just to start. So that is nice and and there it smells. I hate that it is, but it smells like an old lady. You know, you ever get like that old lady perfume smell? It's kind of what it smells like. But let's see how this works. It'll take a couple times, obviously. I mean, I don't have my glasses on. I I don't really see like a big glow or nothing. So, we'll see. but my skin does feel very soft. So, let's give that a try. Um, next thing, and what we're going to do is we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump in off camera and I'm going to do my face makeup and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. So, I just did my basic makeup stuff. I always do my bronzer, my foundation, my concealer, my highlight, all that stuff. Now we're going to go in. We're gonna do our brows, test out this new brow pencil. Kind of nervous, to be totally honest, because I've used the same brow pencil for a minute. So, we're gonna use a spoolie on that same um, Maybelline one because I just love that spoolie. And we're gonna try this, guys. I'm a little too nervous. And we're just going to outline. It's very, very smooth, but not too smooth. It ain't like so smooth and creamy that you can't work with it. You know what I mean? And it's fine tipped, which I like. I'm able to give myself a nice line without having to erase anything. Or You know what I mean? Which I like that. That's another plus. gives you a really nice brow. I'm just going to outline with this and then I'm actually going to go in with that LA Girl Palme that I've been loving and go in with that. But in the front here, I mean if you see, it really does give you like, you are able to achieve these like you know what I mean? There's brush strokes. I like this a lot. Nice. Really good box this this month. Super pleased. Let's 
to the other one. Guys, my TV is so loud. The boys just got home. Okay, so let's brush down. Man, I'm really loving this brow pencil, guys. I didn't think I'd like it, to be honest. test with this pencil is going to be on this brow where I'm trying to grow grow back those hairs in the front so I'm going to try and do some little imitation hairs Guys, I'm really liking this. It looks really good. If you ask me, this one always ends up thicker, but I'm gonna fill it. You know, because that one needs filled right there. But yeah. I don't know why that always ends up thicker. Anyways, so let's go in real quick and let's fill our brows. Alright guys, so I'm really loving this. Like that pencil is super nice. Yeah, I mean obviously one brow will turn out thicker than the other, but that's okay because they turn out really good. I guess the best my brows have looked in a minute. And I didn't even clean up or nothing. Of course that's a little chunky, but I'm already doing my makeup, so I'm not cleaning up. I'm not even going there today. So I'm gonna go ahead real quick and Put some brow gel in. I thought I was out of this or I threw it away. This is like my all time favorite brow gel. Got it in a boxy charm box, so it kind of fits the theme really. And um, it's by the brow bar, and it's like the perfect formula, the perfect color, the perfect brush. It's awesome. They come in a little kit with like brow powder and stuff, which I don't use brow powder, but. If you do, I mean, that'd be something you would like to look into, maybe. But, yeah. Another one of my box of charm favorites. But anyways, guys, this is, like, maybe possibly my new favorite brow pencil. I really, really like this. I guess, oh my god, it's super nice. Yeah, like, I love it. In love. Okay, guys, so now, let's jump on in and go into the eye look, my favorite part. Okay, so we're gonna break this bad boy out. I'm gonna take me a sip of some wine. And then we're gonna jump into this. I kinda got like a bluish top on today, or this evening. So I'm thinking about these two are like, I'm like dying to dig in. So. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to go in with this just fluffy brush. Take my glasses off, of course. Zoom you in a touch. Don't even know why I zoomed you out. Um, and for my crease color, we're going to go with this clay color. 
I was gonna start with this color, but I think it's a little too ashy for the look I wanna go with. For a nude, that'd be nice, but for this bright one, I wanna go with something a little, with a little bit more light, you know what I mean? Let's try this out. Guys, I know it's gonna be just awesome. They have like the best palettes, I swear. I have um, a couple of hers, actually. I have um, like a really berry tone one, and then I have one that's just pure shimmers. It's awesome. Actually, now I need to. I was gonna go with a different brush, there, but I'm gotta use my brushes in the kit to test them out. I just feel like these brushes aren't as fluffy like the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brushes that they come out with. They're so soft, so fluffy, so perfect. Especially the bigger. Like, uh, where's it at? This one. This one right here, the JH30. It's my favorite. Especially to start the crease color. It's everything. Anybody else like Bob's Burgers? I think it's so funny. So just continue to buff this in the inner crease. The inner crease, the only crease. Good God, girl, get it together. I just feel like this brush is a little rough. I mean, it works good. But, I mean, my personal preference, I feel like it's a little rough. Maybe after a wash, it'll be okay. You know what I mean? Kind of like, maybe it's like clothes, you know? It's a little stiff at first, but once you give it a good wash. Yeah, so that's just like the perfect wash of color. So, I want to say, I don't know. Mm. We're going to start with this blue, ironically called Blue Sky. How adorable. I love when they do that. We're going to start that in the outer V and a little bit into the crease. We're going to see what other kind of brushes is in this collection. This little set here. This is like a smaller blending brush, like so. I think it'll be perfect for what I'm wanting it for. And it feels soft, so... Hopefully, we're gonna. Ooh, look at that color, guys. Oh, I love it. We're just kind of tapping it in there. And I'm gonna kind of drag it into the crease a smidge. for the most part, we're covering that brown. You know what I mean? Actually, we're gonna switch. I'm gonna go with more of a flat brush, which is in this collection, something like this, because I really want to place this color in the socket and I feel like it's just kind of smearing it. Mm, guys, I just don't feel like this has the right the right brushes in it to do anything to be honest with you i mean it's nice and definitely something i'll keep i'm not just gonna be like oh my god these are awful i'm giving them away or nothing but i just feel like i need something that this palette doesn't or this collection doesn't have so i'm gonna dip into a different brush I 
like it's kind of hard to get that pigment. Like I know it's there, you know what I mean? But I'm having a rough time getting it to be as bright as I feel like it should be. And it even looks a little patchy. So I'm not... I'm not 100% on this. I don't know if it's a color, if it's a formula. Because there's been certain brands that I'll buy one palette, and then I'll buy another palette, and one palette's really good, and one palette ain't so good. So, I mean, you can't really judge it on that, you know? We're going to go with our finger, guys. I mean, that'll be able to tell me, is it the shadows, or is it the brush? You know what I mean? Hmm, that's pretty. Yeah, okay, so I think it was just a brush because that looks a lot better. So now what we're going to do is I'm actually, instead of that purple, I'm going to dip into this aqua. I've seen it as I was working. No, no, no. I thought maybe I wanted it, but now I don't. I think I still want... Yeah, like, look at that. That's freaking perfect. Let's do that. And actually, we're just going to... We're going to finger it. And that one's called Wild Orchid. And I think that's just beautiful. I mean, look at that. Oh, my God. It's freaking awesome. Like, look at that little mix. It's, like, so freaking perfect. So glad I went with those two colors because it turned out super good. I kind of want the blue to be, no, I want more purple. I was about to say, I want the blue to be the star, but no, no, I don't. We're just kind of using our finger to blend the two. I'm going to take that new brush that we got, and I'm just going to kind of... Kind of gives me like some mermaid vibes. Yeah, not as much purple as I wanted. A little messy. Not as much purple as I wanted, but I think that looks really nice. I'm trying to kind of pack the purple on top of the blue, but it's not really layering as good as I would like it to. That's a little better, but I feel like I'm just making more of a mess than anything. But you'll have that. Let's clean myself up a touch. Oh boy, the evidence. But yeah, so anyways, um, let's um, go ahead and let's do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to finger it just to save myself the effort because I know it works better that way. And then I'm going to go in with that same small blending brush just to kind of ease up the edges. And I actually have a little bit of purple on it, so I'm going to match that on the other side. I 
has a nice little touch of purple because you couldn't really get to it, you know what I mean? We're gonna go in. I love this wild orchid shade. Beautiful. Very vibrant. It's like my favorite color purple is. I think that's more the mix I was looking for. That half and half kind of deal, you know what I mean? Yes, how freaking perfect is that, guys? Um, for like a highlight, uh, I think for inner corner, I want to like do that blue. So let's go ahead and tap that on in. We're going to go ahead and use this really small, like, detailed brush for that. I think I'm going to have to spray it. I don't even know why I tried without it yet. This is going to have to be sprayed. Look at that nice. I love my beautiful inner corner. And actually, if you guys like that kind of thing, I actually did a video on just lashes, liner, and a bright inner corner. It was beautiful. It is on my channel. I swear it's like sunset, or not sunset, but mermaid vibes up in here. I actually, I have a purple liner. Oh, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But I should. I'm so bad, guys. Okay, so yeah, brushes, Um, I'm not 100% sure on those. Like, they wasn't really my favorite, sorry. But yeah. And there was one brush I didn't use, which is like a really, oh, you know what? I use it in my, I use it in my lower lash line. Actually, I use it in my, yeah, I use it in my brow bone because I didn't do that. Um, brow bone, we'll go ahead and we'll do this, like, bronzy shade. I wish they would have had, like, a brighter, like, crystal shade because that doesn't bring as much light to the brow bone as I would like. They don't even have, like, a light anything in here I mean that's kind of just me being picky but I mean I have I, I like to go for a white in any look really Mo mainly or like a shimmery color like a light shimmery color for my brow bone I mean I'm sure a lot of people are like that as well so you know just something to think about Violet Vols so yeah, looks super, super good, guys. I'm like in love with it. I'm, I'm gonna go for that purple liner, guys. Just to give it something. Actually, I got, I got purple and blue. Mm, I think I'm gonna go purple though, because I haven't used my purple liner in a fat minute. So now, look, look at that. I think that's perfect. So 
I'm just gonna kinda do I'm actually, guys, gonna do blue on the other side. Change my mind. I'm so extra. So, we're gonna take it and see that's like oh, to die. So. Oh, that looks so good. Like half blue, half purple. <laughs> Perfect. So let's put those away. Actually, I have to save this for my look. I swear it does. I'm so backwards. Yes, that one. Okay, so now that we have that, guys, for the look. Actually, actually. I'll, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go ahead and pop on my lashes and kind of finish up anything that isn't boxy charm related, which is just my lower lash line. All right, guys, I'm back. I finished up pretty much everything that didn't require boxy charm. Um, my mascara, um, my lips, and I think that was pretty much about it. So we're going to finish off our lower lash line and finish up this video. I know this is probably going to be my second long video. I apologize for that, guys, but... This is some really good stuff. So now what we're going to do, I think I've got enough of that blue and that all going on. So I think I'm going to do this dark brown, which is called chocolate brown. Very accurately named. And I'm going to put that right in that, um, right in that line there. I'm just laying it. Down. I 
And that nice, like, sultry. Gives me a nice little sultry vibe, you know what I mean? Oh, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just like that. I think that's gorgeous. So all in all, I really did like this palette, guys. I think the problem earlier was just my brushes, to be totally honest. Because, I mean, look what I come up with at the end. I mean, it turned out beautiful. I'm really, really happy with it. Like I said, the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have, like, a super bright blinding, like, um, white or icing color just for like the brow bone or inner corner or something like that. But like I said, that could just be me being picky or, you know, whatever. But that's just my personal preference. But yeah. Oh, one more last thing, guys. We need to finish up our lower lash line with a little bit of mascara. Perfect, guys. All right, so that is a finished product. I mean, I think it turned out just beautiful. I love it. All right, guys, so now if you'll follow me, we're going to go to the bathroom and we'll, chest we'll test out that charcoal foaming face wash. All right, guys, so we're back here in our, my bathroom. Excuse that noise. Um, we're just here to go ahead and test out that um, last product in the box, which is that um, pour block or pour clear black charcoal foaming face wash. Um, right now, I'm using that Clinique still, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do everything that I normally do, which um, is take my lashes off and then I apply some of the pharmacy melt away makeup just for the lash glue and that kind of thing, and then um, we'll be right back to test out that product. Okay guys, so obviously, as you can tell, it didn't take really anything off. Not, I wouldn't say anything, but it doesn't take a lot of it off. I just use it just to take off all that lash glue. It just helps out the or the cleaner, in other words. And God, my eyes itching so bad. Um, it just kind of helps the cleaner a little bit, you know what I mean? Because you can still have that wing, but a lot of that lash glue is gone. And that's what I needed to do. And plus it moisturizes my lips too, so I like it for that purpose. So now let's go in for what we're actually here for. Mm, look how big that is, I like that. Um, so here's the directions it says. Um, and let's see here. It says take approximately a dime size amount into the palm of your hand, add small amounts of cold and lukewarm water to lather well and cleanse the skin. I'm gonna rinse thoroughly. All right, so we'll do like, oh, I guess you probably gotta open it first, huh? Yeah. Get that off of there. I'm really hoping this works, because I love charcoal stuff, charcoal toothpaste. Oh my God, and this is like silver. Freaking cute. Okay, so we got our little dime size amount. We're gonna take water. We're just gonna kind of. Oh, oh, oh. oh god, it smells so good. But it's so soft, guys. We're just rubbing this everywhere. It smells so clean and so soft. I really like it so far. Now that we got this all lathered in, we're gonna wash it off. So now we're gonna dry our face. Okay, just take a towel and. Really dry. It's not so bad it, but I just 
such a fast paced person. I'm just wiping and wiping. I really like to get my eyebrows. Where you put all the product in. Okay, guys. So. I did a really good job of taking everything off, as you can tell. And it's so clean. It has such a wonderful smell to it. Like, the scent is really nice. I didn't need a lot at all. And, I mean, this is um, 150 milliliters. So, it's like 5 ounces. So, I mean, I, this is going to go a long way, which I really like. And, I mean, my skin feels nice. It's clean. It's light. It's refreshing. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah. I really like that, guys. I think that's going to become one of my favorites. Hopefully, I had no problems with it at all. So, the box was great, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. I know it was super long, so I apologize for that. But thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.